So it's DLC day and we are off with the first of many reviews I'm going to have to do over the next couple of days. So we start with the Bolican Envisage. And Rockstar are really trolling us with this name, they really are. Because this car is total bollocks. Now once you've bought this for two and a half million, yep, two and a half million, first thing you're going to want to do is take it somewhere and customise it. And you know, the customization's kind of okay ish. There are some interesting options. It is a good looking car anyway. I actually quite like those wheels. I'm going to keep those wheels. But the number of options you've got is much more limited than I expected. It amounts to tweaks more than proper customization, I would say. Although, I've got to say. I think it looks pretty good in the bare metal. I know everyone compares it to the remake of the DeLorean, which is a pretty sweet comparison. That is what a new DeLorean should look like. So the bare metal looks pretty good. So it is an Amani Tech vehicle. No armor plating, but you do get the missile lock on jammer, which is nice. And that's one of the very few nice things about it. There is no HSW upgrade. And as we move on to the review, I can tell you that is one thing this car sorely needs because my God, this thing is slow. Takeoff from the line is poor. Initial pickup is poor. It does seem to have a bit of a second wind on its way to its rather paltry top speed, which I'll put up in the top corner in a second. If you're looking for a redeeming feature, I guess you can talk about the handling. The handling's actually fairly nice. It's quite controllable, but I would say it's probably only controllable because it's not fast enough to do anything else. Quick sneaky look at the interior. It looks like a brand new interior, which is... It is nice to have a new interior. It's just not nice to have this one because... the. I've got to admit, I'm surprised this didn't come through as a tuner's vehicle with all the usual upgrades you expect from a tuner's vehicle, but with it being hydrogen, I guess I kind of get that. I honestly, I'm really struggling. I know normally I like to take you through the whole review and give you my verdict at the end, but the verdict on this was obvious as soon as I drove it out of the agency after customising it. My God, what a stinking turd of a car. Two and a half million. The only possible reason I can give you to buy this is if you like how it looks, which I do. So, you know what, in a way I'm kind of glad I got it because it's quite a cool looking thing. Will I ever use it? I doubt it. It's not really fast enough to do anything interesting. It doesn't make a nice enough noise. And whilst it does handle well, I have many, many other cars that handle a lot better than this. But it's not all bad news because looking through the day one release vehicles there were some really nice surprises in there so I'm going to get a couple of those done for you hopefully today and into tomorrow so there are some good cars for you don't worry there are some good things for you to buy just not this so verdict on this absolutely save you money save you money it's not worth it borrow one if you want to see what it's like borrow one borrow mine in fact you can have mine I don't want it and that pretty much is all I can say about this thing. So here is the time it managed to do. And here's where it sits on the lap board. As I say, keep your eyes peeled. I've got quite a few to get through. As I said, some really nice surprises. I'm going to try and get all those done as quickly as I can. And don't worry, some of them are definitely worth buying. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next one.